Hi everyone! Welcome to Loving Life. And today let's talk progress, let's talk uh, food, and let's talk keto. So let's get started. I'm filming outside because it's too hot at home, and I hope the lighting is sufficient. It's pretty late now. Because before um, they have some work done in our complex and it's banging all day, so I couldn't film then. But I can film at home, it's too hot. And outside actually now it's really nice. As well, I have very wet hair and for the same reason I just can't go and uh, blow dry it because it's too hot. So yeah, I'm sorry about the wet hair, but it's nice to have actually wet hair outside because it's not as hot. So yeah let's go into it first and foremost how much i lost i lost about 26 to 27 pounds and uh, this photo was taken when i had exactly lost 25 pounds i had a lot of questions about uh, what i eat in a day type of for type of video but i think it's uh, not representative if i do just what i eat in a day because my days are vary from day to day and I, I'm i keeping it interesting. Some meals you see online, some meals you don't, some meals are more repetitive than others. So in general, I eat two meals a day, sometimes I eat one meal a day. Um, and I have one snack a day by most part. Sometimes I have more, it depends what I'm doing in the day, how active I am, if I woke up a little bit early, if we are out and about, if I need to drive more. So, you know what? I, a lot of time uh, people tend to be a little bit dogmatic and uh, stick to only one concept, let's say 16 hours of fast, which is amazing, but if I need to drive in 8 a.m. in the morning and then um, you know, go and be active all day, I will tend to eat three meals a day. So, um, it depends how my day is going. And another thing, after I was sick and I couldn't eat much, uh, for at least four or five days, I was hungry. So now, I didn't eat more food in general. Like, I think I added a little bit, 100 to 100 uh, calories, a little bit more. And I usually had, but I ate more frequent, uh, and it's okay. And now I came back to, um, you know, to to my normal one for fasting for about sixteen hours. Let's talk food. Now you need to know how you tend to overdo on your calories, and work around it. By which I mean. If you tend to snack all, all day round, uh, to eat in a small portion, but all day round, or you rather, you know, don't eat and then gorge or more food in the evening, or restrict yourself and then in the evening eat whatever you can see. So you need to be very sensitive to how you eat. And um, if that's what you tend to do, to overdo it, maybe you will try to eat, you know, keto approved food throughout the day uh, and see if you feel more bad, like better and if you don't feel the need to overdo in the evening. Or other way around, maybe actually it's going to be more successful for you, you know, fast for 18 hours and then have one big meal for 1200 calories in the evening and that way you will feel more satisfied so and maybe another hour or two another small snack of you know i love <laughs> i love my tablespoon of peanut butter without anything and for me it's great snack or my um, other nuts like walnuts i like to have you know small handful which is about 15 grams and i'm already learned um, or uh, don't eat cashews. Cashews have the most amount of carbs per fat. Uh, almonds have quite a bit of carbs, so be careful of those. Pecans are amazing. They're mostly fat, almost no carbs. So this is amazing as well. So yeah, work around it. So I am, I tend to have about two meals. Each meal about from 600 
to 800 calories uh, and uh, I'm not counting as much trust me not at all it's just I'm trying to do count my macros um, and this is under my recommended amount of calories per 24 hours usually my recommended uh, amount of calories it's about 17 to 18 hundreds in order to lose weight which is okay Cold water is life. Try to stick to keto approved foods, but again, don't at least keto is far as I understand. Keto is ketogenic state, it's not a diet. As long as you're under 20 grams of uh, carbs, it's okay, <laughs> and you are keto there is huge debate about is it going to be net carbs or all carbs uh, and uh, it depends on your metabolic state if you are pre-diabetic or diabetic go with full carbs tw under 20 full carbs if you don't have metabolic state pre-diabetic or diabetic and I'm talking about diabetes type 2 not type 1 then you can go with net carbs and you will still lose weight and you will still be in ketosis so yeah there is no answer for all it's up to you and how you feel the best i personally you know how much i love my vegetables so for me most of the carbs i'm getting out of the vegetables as well as in this heat and couple of days uh, that i was sick i really wanted one watermelon and watermelon is amazing and soft and i know it has quite high glycemic High, high glycemic points and it's not the best choice of food to have but I did have a couple of days in a row about less than a cup of uh, watermelon and I thoroughly enjoyed it and I still count under 20 net grams and what I'm trying to say that do whatever it make that you will stay under 20 grams whether it's you know spoonful of uh, ice cream that you like or spoonful of uh, um, something that you really really enjoy but you can count the carbs even if it's it has non approved um, ingredients do it in order to stay under your limits uh, please incorporate as much vegetables as you like people tend to go to swing to the side oh vegetable has carbs so I'm not going to have the vegetables at all and I heard about this please 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 don't ignore your vegetables you need your you need extremely big amount of um, calcium and then and, and, and other uh, vitamins and minerals one thing that you can do if you can it's to eat um, liver chicken liver beef liver uh, organic one and it has must one of the most nutrient dense uh, foods in the world with the high amount of vitamin uh, vitamins by B vitamins and all the vitamins so if you can stomach it highly recommend now it does has a lot of carbs though as well because you remember, I told you that liver contains uh, glycogen and it holds all the carbs from the body of animal. So yeah, be aware of this too. But piece or two pieces of liver highly recommended on this diet. It's boost. I know that when I have my monthly flow, I feel the need for extra boost of vitamins and iron and all of this. So I do tend to eat liver around this time of the month just me highly recommend if you can stomach it if not get your uh, iron iron and uh, buy vitamins from other sources and it's highly 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 important eat your vegetables a lot and now i'm going into And now let's go and see what I eat. It's just ideas, it's not what I ate in a week, it's just that I took pictures over time with the meals and Bill's idea. As a, I'm not one that I'm going to buy some meal plan. I know that a lot of people love the idea of meal planning. Uh, uh, with the, like Because it's quite easy, you need just to follow. I tend to be more creative and I love to 
create my own flavors. So yeah, I will give you a couple of ideas of the meal that I have throughout uh, those weeks and Basically what I eat, I eat some meat with side of veggies. Here it was pork with uh, daikon radish or Korean radish and cucumber with a dip of mayo. Stuffed zucchini, kale chips. This day I was low on uh, groceries, so basically whatever I had in the fridge that keto friendly I placed on the, on the plate. It's like tuna with mayo, avocado, salami, green onion, and seaweed. This is pretty typical uh, meal for me as well. Some cooked veg with a sausage and um, egg and maybe guac on the side. Salad is definitely a staple in our house. And salad dressing, I'm usually using uh, lemon or lime and olive oil. Very simple. Bacon and mushroom zucchini pizza, you saw this one. Barbecue short ribs, you saw this one as well. This ignored the rice, but the rest I ate. It's ahi tuna poke, wakame salad and green beans. Very nice. I didn't eat the rice though. It was for Regina. Steamed zucchini with creamy mushrooms and basil. Very nice. A chicken any kind, any way you love. I know that this is looking more like cat food, but it's a zucchini dip that my grandmother did and a kind of um, sardines smoked one very nice if you like fish those are fried tofu you can have it uh, and cucumber eggs and avocado with a little bit of mayo it was very nice actually you can find it in asian stores and actually me and ariel is, are enjoying it so much this is just pork uh, pieces with uh, green beans with just a little bit of seasoning of your choice uh, sausage on lettuce wrap omelets are excellent choice this is omelet with sausage pickles and pickled eggs are amazing choice of snacks me and Regina are enjoying it so much after I was sick I was craving uh, beets and borscht so much so I did some type of borscht it was quite diluted one with sausage and I was still under my uh, carb intake so it was amazing and that's what I ate out like Indian um, restaurant and I have all video about this on the market when we went it was deep fried tofu with sriracha be careful of the vegetables they usually sweetened German rotisserie pork hog, amazing, just amazing, that's really good. Ariel had a birthday and he wanted to go to eat sushi, so I chose to eat sashimi and it was amazing. Let's talk about desserts. Again, if you're pre-diabetic or diabetic, avoid them as much as possible, because they can spike your insulin and it uh, can stall your progress. A bit of whipped cream with berries watermelon again it has an extremely high glycemic index so not for everyone other berries like raspberries and hollow top ice cream you know how much i love um, my coffee so affogato is just amazing with the sugar free chocolate gelato it was just magnificent so yeah i hope you enjoy the idea i hope you enjoy this uh video and thank you so very much for supporting me for telling me how good i look and etc one thing that i can tell you for sure i get i had some thread about the neck yes then my neck is more soft yeah i lost weight and like i lost inches in the neck and it's amazing because i'm not sure if you know if you go more than this amount of inches around the neck you are in very high risk of sleep apnea so yeah as much as you can if you will lose weight there yeah and my skin is a little bit more softer yeah i know i know horrible horrible yeah this is how messed up our society with the ageism and if you look a little bit more older it's it's the end of the world and you know what? I earned my years, I earned my uh, experiences, and I'm, I, I am who I am, and this is my journey. So yeah, 
So thank you so very much and please subscribe, write me a comment, thumbs up me and cheers loving life and remember, go towards your joy and do something fun every day and see you next time. Bye! Mwah.